So in this Time Out article, it says the seven best um, thrift stores in Melbourne. Um, so we're going to see if it's actually accurate. So I'm super keen to try it, but I think there's a whole bunch of savers, a whole bunch of vinnies and op shops and stuff. But yeah, I haven't been op shopping for a long time, so I'm super keen. I'm super keen to do this video. We're going to start off at Savers, Mirabin. Um, let's get into it. So I've chosen Mirabin to be our first one because I used to get all my favorite picks here. Um, if we don't pick up today, we're probably not going to do well for the rest of the day. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we're going to get some grails or even get some vintage finds. We're on the hunt for vintage tees, sweaters, pants, pretty much anything that we can find that's like vintage clothing. Um, but yeah, let's see how we go. Hopefully we can film this up. New uh, slippers on, not vintage. It doesn't have a tag, ain't vintage, man. And $13, come on. Wow, pretty expensive, eh? I remember back in my day, it used to be two or three dollars a tee. Now it's expensive as for I think Sabres is like always pretty expensive there. I thought Sabres was cheaper then. Nah, like all those smaller op shops are way better. Like, I know like Vinnie's is probably the best and then just like those random op shops where they don't really know what stuff is worth, you know? Not the fake Super Bowl. First pick, Tommy t-shirt, just kidding. What's wrong with it? small size and it's not vintage it's a newer one so i'm lucky all right Ooh. this could be a cool one so you can see here it's made in australia not many stuff was made in australia um, back then so it's made in australia 100 percent cotton show us the tag it's an australian tag it's pretty xy but I like the colours on it. Just a service paradise, a tourist tea. Especially an Australia one. Maybe that could be a fine, we'll put it to the side. Why don't you get some shoes? We're on a vintage ex adventure today. Vintage t-shirt. I'm feeling lucky. We got an early 2000s Quicksilver. Pretty hard to sell red, so we're not gonna get it, but it's a nice one, this early 2000s. When I used to thrift back in the day, all you used to find was these tourist tees. All these random tourist tees. But this one's a vintage New York one. It's early 2000s. Got a New York yellow taxi. But we're not gonna, we're gonna, I wouldn't put these in the store. So I'm just showing you that they're still vintage in the thrift. So we found this early 2000s twins tee. It's a big number on the back. We won't get it because it's a medium. Um, it's sick. Good graphic, good screen print. We don't get it because the number on the back and the medium, but we'd normally sell this for about like 45 bucks on the website. Do you know who that is? Me? Yeah. Yeah. He's a famous player, he's in the Hall of Fame. Got into the Hall of Fame last year, 2000, no, 2018, he was in the Hall of Fame. Oh, yeah, damn. Gun, gun. You a big baseball fan? <laughs> <laughs> I think I found the perfect shirt for you. <laughs> Look, it's got like these air plugs. Hello? Ew! <laughs> what I actually oh. found, I found this um, Itch Pig. Um, this is an old one from Itch Pig as well. It's 13 bucks. Shout out to the Itch Pig boys. We did a podcast with them. Tyler's Yarns. Brooke's gonna link it for you, for you guys. Yeah. So good that it's in the thrift now. Been been around for ten years. So, ooh, All right, lucky dip. Crap. <laughs> Sixteen bucks. Is that a lot? Bloody daylight robbery, mate. Actually, just oh no, these are. Levo's 501. We should stop the, the one near um, oh, um, Balaclava. I always find the best ones there, man. It used to be my bloody, that's how I started it all. The kryptonite of vintage. My kryptonite of vintage. That's, they used to save stuff for me. 
So I didn't even need to look through it. Do they? <laughs> Alright, no, so this one was the biggest dick piece. This is 1984, but it's just a vintage heritage one. What does that mean? That means it's not vintage. Oh. Well, that would have been a good plan. I'm gonna need to look at the furniture <laughs> because I'm needed. Need to get some furniture. <laughs> Oh, those are the chairs you were looking at before. <laughs> on, phone, on your phone. Oh, true. You're pretty sick, eh? Hey? Oh, I'm So, this, this started off as a thrifting um, episode, now it's Tyler just buying furniture. <laughs> We pretty much showed you everything that we could have got, but I don't think any of that stuff would probably would have sold, or if it did, it would have sold a lot. It would have taken a long time to sell anyways. Would, so, you, re would you recommend the store to people? Um, it's all about, it's all, good thing's all about luck, you know? That's what I see it. And I wore my lucky socks today, and I haven't been fucking lucky. What does that mean? Next thrift. Where, where are we going, Brooke? Uh, St Kilda. St Kilda. No, we're not going to St Kilda. We're going to go to... I reckon we should swap one out for the Balaclava. Oh yeah, maybe we'll go to Balaclava. We'll go to my favourite spot. That's our next spot. We're going to do that. Then we'll go to Turak and then we'll go to St Kilda, then done. Alright, next thrift is my old local thrift shop. It is, uh, I think it's a Sacred Heart one. But yeah. We need some luck today, guys, so fingers crossed. <laughs> Sweet. All right, we're live at the thrift. The thrift has changed a little. This used to be the room with all the grails. <laughs> now it's full of books and random <laughs> videos. Still grails. Still grails, but... Ooh. Despicable me. Perfect. Alright, let's go on to the clothing. So, oh, kill Bill. Good film. Let's do some home decor stuff. A hit. How much are those? I don't know the price. 18 bucks. But so far, we were to buy them. They say, I think they're two dollars. Yeah, one dollar each. So it'd be four bucks. So it'd be a profit of. Times three. It'd be a profit of $14 of, of a thing. It's on eBay. They're all full sets. They're all here at Bella Club. What have you got there? Nothing. <laughs> this live at the thrift through the loom. New York is another tourist tea, so we're not gonna we're not gonna get it because they don't really move that fast. But this is through the loom. Shows that we're still finding vintage in the thrift industry. So just a bit of a debrief on that last one. So we went to the local and we didn't come up with anything. We found some DVDs, found a few vintage pieces, just nothing that took with our fancy. Um, but yeah, we're off to the next one, which is another timeout one. It's St. Kilda, it's on Gray Street. So, third stop of the um, timeout op shop adventure. We better be lucky this time because we haven't come up on anything. We didn't get anything. Last, we're gonna do our lucky last one, Tura. I know we're all down and out at the moment. Last one was another miss. We 
found those two champion and then we found just another sports team but they're too small um but we're hitting the last op shop i'm feeling good about this one <laughs> it's in turak so heaps of rich people live around there um yeah hopefully we come up but if we're not we'd leave an empty handed today and you guys watch this for no reason whatsoever So our last stop was Turak. It was a really diff different vibe in that op shop. Um, there was a lot more people, so we didn't film that much, and it was super small, so it made it a bit bit um, awkward, and they were giving us eyes when we were filming. So um, a bit of a different vibe. We'd, there was a lot of nicer stuff in there. It was just um, a bit more pricey. We found some Dolce Cabana jeans, um, but yeah, they were just a bit weird fitting on the bottom of the cuffs cuffs or whatever the bottom of them called um but yeah they're pretty weird fitting so we didn't get them but empty-handed i thought we would have done a lot better today but it's what it is man that's thrifting day in the life see you later